Hello again, happy Friday. So to end the week, we're going to practice putting equations into y equals mx plus b form. This is a skill that a lot of kids struggle with in algebra and something that we don't really spend enough time going over. So it's pretty important to get the hang of it. Sometimes when we have to graph a line, we're given an equation that's not in y equals mx plus b form, like this one and this one. So before we can graph the line or do anything else, we have to turn it into y equals mx plus b form. So what I did for you is I wrote out some steps that can be followed when the lines are in this form, which is called standard form. So the first step is that we want to get rid of the x over here. It's supposed to be on the right. We need to have only y by itself on the left. So our goal is to get everything else over to the right. So I tried to break it up into set steps for you. So the first thing you should do is move the term with the x to the right using inverse operations. So if it's positive, you're going to subtract. If it's negative, you're going to add. After you've done that, you're going to be left with the term that has the y in it. But it most likely has a number in front of it or coefficient. So your second step is going to be to divide both sides by that number so that you can get y by itself. This is going to result in you having to divide two terms by that number. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna break it up piece by piece. And finally, you're gonna just make sure that your final answer is in y equals mx plus b form. So that was a lot of talking. Let me show you how to do this. First things first. Whenever I solve an equation, you know, I always draw a line. My first step is to move the term with the x to the right using inverse operations. So my term with the x is 4x. Since it's positive, to move it over, I'm going to subtract. So I subtract here so that I can cancel it out because 4x minus 4x is 0. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 4x from this side. So what's left here is my 2y. So that comes down, is equal to, and I'm going to put my 4x in the front so that it stays in y equals mx plus b form. So it's negative 4x, and it's just going to be plus 10 because the 10 is positive. If the 10 was negative, it would have been minus 10. So we're at one step closer to having y equals mx plus b form. Step two is to divide both sides by the number in front of y. So as you can see, the number in front of y here is 2. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Because remember, the goal is to get y by itself. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So that will leave me with just y. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. And this is where I was telling you we're going to break it up piece by piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my y down. And I'm going to break this up piece by piece like we did in class at the beginning of the year. I'm going to do negative 4x divided by 2, so I'm going to write it separately. And then I have a plus sign, so I write plus, and now I'm going to do 10 divided by 2. And I'm just going to do them piece by piece. So now I have y is equal to negative 4 divided by 2, you can use your calculator, is negative 2, and don't forget to keep your x, plus 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And your final step is to make sure that you're in y equals mx plus b form. And look, sure enough, I am. y equals mx plus b. That's my answer. The trickiest part is going to be breaking up your division. Everything else is nice and easy. So let's try the second example. So again, I'm going to draw my line because I just love to do that. My first step, remember, we want y by itself. I'm going to move my term with the x to the right side. Since it's negative, I'm going to add because this will cancel it out on this side. This is like 3x minus 3x, which is zero. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So I add the 3x on this side. I'm going to bring down my 3y, and that's gonna be equal to, I'm gonna put my 3x in front so that I'm in y equals mx plus b form. It's positive, and now I have a negative 9, so this is 3x 
minus 9. So we're almost there. We just have to do step 2, which is to divide both sides by the number in front of y. So I'm going to divide both sides by the number in front of y, which is 3. This cancels out because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other side to keep the balance. Right? So I'm going to write, set myself up by writing y equals, and now it's time to break up this division. So I'm going to do 3x divided by 3. Sorry. I'll write that out here. 3x divided by 3 minus 9 divided by 3. Okay, sorry, it's a little unfocused. And then as our last step, we're just going to divide each one, one at a time. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 1x is the same as just x. You can write the one in front if you'd like. Minus 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then finally, we're going to just check that this is in y equals mx plus b form. y equals mx, the m here would just be a who's so skinny you can't see it, 1, plus b, which would be negative 3. So that is my answer. And I hope that this tricky skill has been slightly simplified for you. Um, it is very important. And this is one of those things where practice makes perfect. So have fun.